Hey everyone, Fast Eddie here. So I finally uh, duct taped my GoPro to my mirror just so you can see my clutch hand. So I'm gonna go through and do a whole bunch of stuff in Moto Jitsu because a lot of people asked me to do this video and I didn't think I was, I was gonna be able to do it, but I try to find all kinds of tools and actual things to clamp to the whatever and it didn't work. So I just got some good old fashioned duct tape and duct tape to the mirror. So I'll stop and let you know what I'm doing beforehand. But first I wanna do all the weaves. So this is gonna be what I'm doing with the clutch so you can visually see and hear the bike and I'll do white belt. Here we go. black belt. front of me I have a 30 foot circle so outside the 30 foot circle is white belt inside is blue so I'll do inside I'll do white belt and then blue belt so here is white belt outside a 30 foot circle which is white belt I'll go inside the 30 foot circle, blue belt. I have a 20 foot circle, I'll go uh, brown belt inside 20 foot. Now I'll do black belt inside 20 foot circle, one handed. I'll do black belt, full lock turn.
So as you can see, just like I've been saying in all my videos, it's not too interesting to look at. With the clutch, so you have power and no power. I'm not fully pulling it in, and I'm not fully releasing it. There's a spot called the friction zone where you have power, no power, power, no power. And then whenever I think the bike's gonna fall, I wanna put my foot down, I release it a tiny bit, it stands back up. I don't release it always. And I don't pull it in fully. Because by the time I find the friction zone, it's too jumpy, it's too fast. You can use one finger, two finger, three finger, or your whole hand, whatever, however many fingers you want, it's absolutely irrelevant, it's just your preference. I like to use three, but I used to use two for a long, long time. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's just small, tiny movements. So I'm just gonna go around and um, I'm gonna do black belt again, then I'll just do some really tight figure eights and just practice a little bit, kind of free practice, just to show you what I'm doing even more. As you can see, I'm not fully in the friction zone or fully away from it. It depends on what I'm doing. If the bike is going straight up and down, right, I'm just pretty much pulled it in a little bit and I'm coasting. But once I start to lean the bike and I need the power of the clutch of the bike to make the bike not fall, that's when I release it a little bit. So it's just a fine, slow play of the clutch. And this is the key. This right here is the number one most important thing for all of low speed turning that I have found in my experience. Your vision, I got it, yup, you gotta go where you look, and people say that, but I do full lock turns looking the wrong direction. So, vision, it helps big time, of course, counterbalancing helps, turning your shoulders, etc., etc., etc. However, if you don't master the clutch, everything is gonna be very difficult. If you can master the clutch, really practice what I'm doing, everything is gonna be so much easier for all low speed turning. Again, the number one thing to do, if you think you're gonna fall, you wanna put your foot down, ease out the clutch a little bit, it'll stand right back up. But a lot of people, right before they fall, I ask them what happens right before they fall. What do they do with their clutch? They pull it in, they cut power to the bike, the bike falls. So you have to get over the fear. Once it starts to tip in, you ease out the clutch and it'll come right back up. And you just have to play with it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And see you next time.